Hey guys, how's it going out there today? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Things are going great here in Tokyo, Japan, except tomorrow I'm back at work. It's been a long time coming, months and months and months. We had a little few days there where we were back at work and then off for summer again. And then tomorrow it's back in for the long haul. And I don't know what that's going to do to the channel because I drop this daily content about sneakers and I do my very, very best. Haven't missed a single day for like 565 consecutive days, but I don't know what going back to work is going to do tomorrow. Uh, it's already after after midnight on Tuesday night and this video is for Wednesday evening and going back to work on Wednesday morning so fingers crossed all of that will tie together and this great video will come to you guys on Wednesday evening as we talk about a blazer now it's not this blazer but I had to get out this blazer uh, because it's the only blazer I currently own uh, and it's an absolutely cracking shoe if you don't know what it is it's the uh, Sakai blazers and they're famous for their double sort of branding double swooshes double tongues in there um, and stuff like that so uh, but to be able to talk about today's blazer I thought it'd be good to have this blazer on hand so we can look at the different features and the comparison between the two so without further ado let's get into what I'm calling the Nike Blazer Mid 77 Gold. This is the Tokyo Bada 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Bada 23 sneaker channel day. It's my Nichi up soon. Day. My Nichi Mitika design every single day from Tokyo, Japan. I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And like I said, it's been something like 575 consecutive days. I could work it out. It was something like December the 9th that I started doing daily drops, and I haven't missed a day since. And here we are today with this upcoming release of the Blazer. Now, I called it the Blazer Gold. I don't actually know what its official name is. Maybe you guys do know out there, but it's all to do with what looks like like a brooch down on the heel section there uh, but they, they I don't know if golden brooch golden heel uh, peachy gold I don't know what they're calling this guy but for me that's definitely where I'm going with this shoe now as I said already we've got a bit of history at the channel with blazers because I managed to pick these guys up last year um, gosh I can't even remember when they dropped uh, the sad thing about these is the reason why these look so clean uh, and I've got the left one here actually yeah no it does it does still have the tag on the insides because I've never ever worn these not because I'm holding on to them for any particular reason just because they're half a size too small for me uh, but I was checking out one of the biggest stores here which is called Kicks Lab uh, and they have these guys going on sale for something like 60 or 70 thousand yen it's about six or seven hundred dollars which is an awful lot of money for a shoe that only cost me something like I don't know 150 dollars or something like that so uh, I'm seriously thinking about popping down to Kicks Lab and finding out how much they'll take these off my hands especially like I said they're a half size too small and there's just no way my big plates of meat are going to fit into these guys even though they're a really beautiful shoe um, so we'll be talking a little bit about this today there's a couple of points on this shoe that I want to talk about in relation to today's shoe especially around the back here and also along the mud guards the toe roll and the toe box on these guys but we'll get into uh, that in a minute once we've gotten into this shoe that's coming up so uh, so without further ado let's do that and look at the details on this guy I have some questions first maybe you can answer them for me out there number one is I read maybe women's on on this one not just a general uh, full size run or men's or whatever it's a women's shoe but I don't know what that means in terms of blazers whether you can even get a women's size blazer or if they, uh, they do something special to a blazer to make it a women's so that was one thing that I read don't know if it's true or not the other thing that I read was that these guys have sale in there somewhere I am not seeing sale in there anywhere and again you guys can correct me in the comments down below if you believe I'm wrong in saying that but the two things I do see in this is white and I'm calling on it off peach uh, because uh, to me there's a lot of peach going on in the sneakers a peachy sneaker uh, and uh, they're talking about orange you know there's a few details and we'll get to them in this video today where you see the detailing and the branding done in a sort of what I think is a peach color but they're talking about it being a pastel orange or light orange or something like that but when you look at the, uh, the detailing on certain parts of the upper uh, it's an off peach to me and the branding's in peach so without further ado let's get into that and talk about those different parts of the sneaker so what I want to do first and foremost is go back to front along the lateral side of the sneaker because there's two places of real interest for colouring on there uh, and two places of interest for lack of colouring on there so place number one that we start towards the back and move our way forward uh, is with that swoosh on the side which is in that off peach uh, that I'm talking about now we'll have stopped on the green screen here so that you've got to look at that swoosh there and it's also 
placed right on top of that white tumbled leather upper which is a very clean look for this sneaker uh, and that off off peach <laughs> swoosh on the side there though for me though I don't really quite get it because uh, there's no contrast between the white and the off peach they're just too close together uh, and then as we come forward a bit further forward towards the toe end of the shoe you can see the mud guards on the left side there uh, that sort of come up now we can jump in to uh, have a look at these guys here because these guys have a very exaggerated mud guard coming up on the side uh, they have extremely exaggerated mud guards around the back here where they have a lot going on there but what I'm talking about is this mud guard on the side here which again is in that off peach uh, colorway here and again it doesn't quite you know they should have done it in a more popping peach and we'll get to the two more popping places of peach on this sneaker in a couple of minutes but first I uh, will just keep that lateral side going as we go through those two off peach parts and this is what's interesting to me is that if we come to the front of the shoe to the toe box and to the mud roll and uh, the mud roll the toe roll again on these guys here is a bit of interesting sort of detailing going on where they've exaggerated that toe box and that toe roll on there uh, but that's the area of the shoe that I'm talking about one is the toe roll and the other one is what wraps around the toe box neither of which are in off peach or peach or anything other than white uh, so the, the rest of the whole shoe is in this snow white to me not sail uh, beautiful tumbled leather Leather material a great looking shoe but for some reason they've gone with this sort of very subtle off peach color on those two particular places the swoosh and the mud guards on the side rather than something with a bit more strength and or just going with white uh, speaking of a bit more strength let's go up that uh, lacing system so we're at the front of the shoe and we'll travel up the lacing system to the tongues at the top there and you can see that white motif continues now we'll probably look at the tongues from the front first and you'll see the white like I said going on but then you've got that pop of what looks like regular peach or orange or whatever you want to call it uh, up there with that Nike branding on the top of the tongues uh, and then if we look from a different angle probably from the top down as you look into the shoe you can see they've gone with that uh, standard um you know the the blazer kind of unfinished feel to the tongues uh, that you get around uh, the top half there and you can see that in very clear evidence when we look at this shoe and again you can also look into the insole as well and see the branding going on in there uh, and then we come like full circle it's almost like we've done a 360 degree circle to come to the back of the shoe and there's two particular things of interest on there one for me is a very simple Nike branding up there in that very kind of popping peach orange colorway at the top of the heel and everything else is white around it uh, and I think this is the proper colorway they should have gone with the swishes on the side and the mud guards uh, and then as you come down from it I did talk about this earlier I said I'd talk about this part here uh, that you can see they've gone with what looks like a gray suede uh, to hold the ladder on the medial sides together and give it a little bit of color and a little bit of definition so uh, now that we've done that full 360 it brings us back to the last place to look at on the shoe which is the major signature feature which what to me looks like a gold brooch on the side of the shoe you've got that circle nike and a swoosh underneath it in gold very much sort of popping off of the shoe it's not embossed or embedded into the shoe it's laid on top of it there and it's a clearly gold it almost looks completely metallic actually and i wouldn't be surprised if it is a very metallic part of the shoe so uh all in all you know that 360 look at the shoe then you get that really clear look at the upper very white kind of hints at peach on the lateral side and then some real strong pops of peach up on the tongue and then the uh, the heel on the back and if we flip the guys upside down uh, again you know coming back to these guys here you have that classic sort of um, gum sole in the middle of the white there but these guys here is all white down below to go with the rest of the motif on the top of the shoe so all in all very clean looking shoe don't know if I'll be able to get my hands on them don't know if I can even go for them if they're only in women's size and I wear enormously large shoes or not enormously large just a US 12 and a half and these guys right here are US 12 so that's why my feet have never been in them I'll probably rip them apart uh, but that's uh, the look at the shoe today. Uh, the last thing I want to do before I sign off, just a little bit of special thing, was that uh, we sadly lost a good friend of mine over the weekend, and uh, it's uh, a great loss for me and my friends and my community out here. So just very quickly, I want to say a shout out to my good friend Hero, who's no longer with us, and of course his family and especially his wife Virginia. Um, it's a big sort of time for them, and it's a big loss for us. But he was a great, great man, very, very positive. I never felt anything but positivity and happiness from him, which is hard in these days and age uh the, you know to have people give you that kind of positivity and that kind of great vibe so hero gone but never ever to be forgotten left a great mark of positivity on the world and hopefully that will keep on going through the people who knew you and the people who will remember you for now though time for me to sign off thank you guys for checking out the content but uh i'll do what i do at the end of every single video which is say that i do this every single day and that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow